In this video, I'll show you how to level a pop-up camper using the BAL Tire Leveler. If you don't like backing your camper onto blocks, then pulling forward to add more blocks, then backing up again, you'll want to check out this video. This handy device makes leveling your pop-up camper side to side really easy, but stay tuned to see the mistake I made so you can avoid it while using this leveler. So here is my pop-up camper, a 1997 Palomino Colt. This is my yard, but pretend it's a camping spot. So I've backed into my spot, chalked the wheels, detached the trailer from the truck. Now I'm going to use the BAL tire leveler to level the pop-up camper side to side first. I check the level at the back of the camper. You can see one side is higher than the other. I need to raise the lower side. You put the BAL leveler under the tire on the low side to raise it until your camper is level. Here's just a quick note on the BAL tire leveler. It is model number 28050. It's for single axle trailers, like my pop-up camper. It fits 13 inch, 14 inch, and quote, most 15 inch tires, according to the company. Yet, my camper's tires are 12 inches, and it works well. All right, let's get this thing leveled. So step one is make sure the other wheel is chalked. If I was on more of an incline, I'd have more substantial chocks in place. Step two, we slide the BAL tire leveler under the low side tire, the side that needs to be raised. Ensure the edge of the tire resting plates of the lifter are lined up with the outside side wall of the tires. Then you need to lift that threaded rod called a drive screw and place the bottom of the drive screw inside the raised metal ring on the bottom of the leveler. Here, this end has to go into that circular hole there. Let's see if you screw it by hand until it starts to reach there. Keeping in mind you need this leveled up. Once you have the drive screw in place, you can use a three quarter inch ratcheting wrench or socket. Step three is put your wrench onto the drive screw and start turning the threaded rod clockwise to slowly raise the tire off the ground. Here is a sped up version showing what the tire leveler does. Periodically, check the back bubble level to see if you're close. It helps to have a buddy back there keeping an eye on the level. Then just fine tune by giving a couple more turns until you've got your pop-up camper nicely leveled side to side. I've promised to show you a mistake I've made before, so here it is. Can you guess what I did wrong here? I'll give you a hint. Make sure the edge of this plate is lined up with the edge of the outer sidewall. If you guessed not properly aligning the BAL leveler's lifting plates under the tires, you'd be correct. I had the leveler slid in too far. This meant when I raised the tire, the drive screw raises in the vertical direction, and it was too close to the camper. I couldn't remove my wrench, it hit the hub. So to rectify this, I lowered the tire by turning the drive screw counterclockwise, then repositioned the leveler When you have it properly lined up with the edge of your sidewall, you're going to get that gap between here and the hub. You'll be able to properly raise your tire. And <laughs> you'll be able to remove your wrench easier. So now you've got your low tire lifted, your camper is level side to side. You can see the pool noodle on there. I slip that over the drive screw just to protect people in case they fall on it. And now it's time to level our pop-up camper front to back. As you can see, the front of the pop-up camper is lower than the rear. I do this partly because when it's parked there, the water will drip off of it. Uh, so I need to raise the front of it. And what we need to do is go to the side of the pop-up camper where you'll see the bubble level. To level a pop-up camper front to back, we use the tongue jack. In this case, I need to raise or elevate the front of the camper. I turn the tongue jack clockwise to raise it. Mine's honestly a little tricky to turn one hand while filming with the other hand. Then we go check the bubble level on the side of the camper again and see if we're in the middle. And there we go, nice and level. So we've got our camper leveled front to back. And thanks to using the BAL tire leveler, we were able to get it leveled side to side as well. Once we put down our stabilizers, we'll be ready to pop it up. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell. If you want to get your hands on a BAL tire leveler, and if you think it'll make leveling your pop-up camper easier, I've put a link to the product in the video details below. 
Thanks for watching and happy pop-up camping.